Today on Ballistic Burgers, I'm going to be cooking, by request, the now extinct Bacon Cheeseburger Supreme from Jack in a Box. Let's get going. So this request comes from a very close friend of mine, Alan Alvarez, who used to work at Jack in a Box as a young man in the early 80s. For those of you who have not heard of Jack in a Box, it's a chain started here in San Diego. And for the longest time, it was pretty exclusive to Southern California. But now I know that they are in some other states. I know they're in Texas. I don't know what other states they're in, but it's more than just SoCal now. And in the early 80s, they went through this weird kind of phase where they were trying to kind of really change up everything. Um, their mascot, was a clown and they blew the clown up and they really changed their menu. This burger I'm going to make um, comes off of that old menu from the 80s and it was a request from Alan that I do this. He, he was a big burger fan and a, and a very loyal viewer to my channel. And so this is for you, Alan. So I'm using that little Blackstone 22 incher today. And one of the things that they boasted about on their commercials was Oscar Mayer bacon. So I go down with some two strips of Oscar Mayer bacon and I'm going to weight these. And I've got this set for a medium high, just so you know. Burners are off on the other side. For this burger, they didn't use a traditional sesame seed bun. They used a poppy seed Kaiser roll. I'm gonna give this a toast. This bacon's pretty thin. Let's see what it's looking like here. There's a little bit to go. Good. This is what I'm looking for, just a nice kind of a light toast. We'll move this over to the side of the flat top without any burners on. All right, that bacon is good. Put this off to the warmer side. And now for the patty I have, this is four ounces of ground 80-20. And I formed this in one of my stainless steel rings, made it nice and flat. So it definitely looks like a burger that would come from a fast food restaurant. I'm just gonna season this with a little kosher salt. And on the flat top, a little more salt. This cook is going to go very fast. Perfect kind of burger for a fast food joint. Okay, you can see how kind of shiny and wet the top of the burger is looking. We're ready to flip. Now they do melt the cheese on there, but it's more of a just sort of a bend. I mean, they're not dramatically melting the cheese, which is why I'm kind of holding off right now. In the meantime, I'm going to take these buns. Let's get this ready for the finished burger. I'm going to place some white American cheese on the bottom bun here. And white American cheese just sort of tastes a lot like Swiss, a mild Swiss. Slice of American cheese on the patty here. And I'm just keeping an eye on this. Once those corners start to fold over, it's coming off the flat top. And this is what I'm looking for. Put on top of the white American cheese. We'll add those bacon strips. Some hand-leafed lettuce. Slice of tomato. On this top bun, we're going to add some mustard. Whoa. Some ketchup. And this is for you, Alan. Miss you, brother. I love you all and thank you for everything. Um, so you guys have kind of made me feel very happy and very loved. So I love you all. Not to go, y'all. And most of my things. 